Hey everyone, my name is Denny and I just finished breakfast. I went for a walk at Bandar, had breakfast and now I'm here. And this weekend seems to be quite a busy weekend because I've got a bunch of things planned, meeting, outings with the family, siblings. Let's see how this goes for the rest of the week. Um, there's also consumer fair, I don't know whether I can make it in time, but if I can, I'll, I'll drop by. But I don't really see anything that I would want to buy. So in 2023, it's such a good time for you all to be more active. Pick up a sport, pick up an activity, just be active. So exercise probably is a bit too daunting for most of us, especially me. When I hear exercise, like, oh, I can't. So whatever it is that you do, you know, as long as it's physical activity, go out and just do it. Walk, you know, you can just do simple things around the house. Maybe clean more or just start cleaning that room. Or make 2023 the year that you start doing things and be more active in life. Um, that being said, let me just go first because I'm still in the parking and I'm probably just gonna go home, shower and start planning out my day. Okay. Alright, so some of my routine always involves visiting Q-Lab, either for food, for breakfast, uh, visit the restaurant. So a lot of things happen in Q-Lab and on the weekends, this is one of the most common places that I visit and happen. So today, I have something to do over at the restaurant. That's why I'm going to uh, Impiana Complex at Kulab. Wait, if you don't know what that is, let me just... So Impiana Complex is actually this building at the Mini Roundabout. There we go. Yeah, where the UOB bank is. And for me here, I usually park at the basement because it's free and it's shaded away from the sun. Since it's quite early in the morning, let me just show you. The basement itself is pretty spacious. So if you're around in Kulab, you can't find parking, this is one of the good places to actually get parking uh, in the piano complex. Ta-da! In, in Piana is really a nice place. Uh, they got Ahmed over there. Uh, lots of new places. There's three ramen shops here. There's a convenience store there. Okay, there. So if you happen to be around Kilab, this is a really good place to chill um, and check out the new shops. How they made this. That's amazing. It looks really cool. Let's just go real quick. Um, we got pictures on those pictures there. Um, so if you're in the restaurant, Nasi Talam, you should really just have a look and then just you know enjoy. All right. Okay. I'm done. Just dropped by. Uh, picked up some things at the restaurant. Talk to the front crew and talk to the kitchen crew. You are, it's fun to just drop by every now and then to check up on them and see what's up. It's always fun. Every time I drop by, I do check up on them and see what's up, get updates from them. And when I went in, there was this really nice decorative feature in the private area. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm on my way back. I want to go take a shower and get ready for my next trip much 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 later just finished showering and before i go out i wanted to open up a package that just arrived so as you know i order bowling stuff and today um, one of my packages just arrived so i'm gonna open it up and then make some deliveries for it and whatnot so let's just go uh, so how do we do this Start at the seams. It looks like they, they just put two boxes together, top and bottom. So I'm just gonna be like pulling it away from each other. Okay, again. Try to be safe with these things. Ah. Mind you, um, in this order, there is a bowling ball. So it, was, it is slightly heavy. And from um, other 
things that people order, I also order stock. Uh, something that people may want like three, four months down the road. Oh, hope doesn't spill over. Okay, so one thing, the way they package it is so horrible that everything is all over the place. So these little things are supposed to be in these boxes. It shouldn't be outside like this. Uh, so, never mind. A bunch of, this is what we call grip sacks. Because when you go, you want to have something to like um, get your hands dry maybe. Good cushion so that your fingers feel a bit relaxed when you throw your next ball. Okay, I think I know what this is. A bunch of cleaners. Finger tip protection. I, I really got like soft this time. Oh, this is horrible. Of course, bowling bowling ball it's oh my god, oh my god. Ta-da! Yeah. Okay. Bowling balls in the tag. I'm gonna sort this out. Uh, probably keep some at stock over in uh, Utama Bowling and make some deliveries for the other stuff. So typically, usually my packages do come random days, like it's a weekend or it's a working day or whatever. Uh, but I do need to do all of this and I do need to prep things to be packed and prep things to be put in, you know, in, the, in my queue or in the place where I was selling it. Um, if you guys are really interested, you can just follow Let's Go Bowling Brunei. That's my IG for all my bowling stuff. Okay then. I'm out again and it's just past 1 p.m. Uh, this time around, I'm going out to find plastic packages so I could pack those uh, bowling bowling uh, fingertips properly and so that they don't fly around. Once I've done that, I could send these items over to you know to be displayed. I also have a delivery uh, schedule at 2:30 p.m. later, so everything kind of fits into place. I just need to really do things in sync otherwise I might be late for one of my appointments so I think this would fit nicely Six by nine. This one maybe is a bit too big. Yeah, I'll go for this one, and that's the code. So this size for let's get one. These ones. These are the actual ones that I really wanted it to fit. These are the things that didn't have the cases. This goes in here. Man, these things are stubborn. These go in. Ta -da! So there. It's just nice. The thing about these tapes uh, is that they are perishable, meaning you use them and then you throw them away. You kind of need to replenish them. So it depends on how often you bowl and how often you use the tapes so the ones I'm packaging right now these tapes are fitting tapes they are used to put inside the finger hole to put these things in and then it'll give you a bit more grip 230 is my schedule for my delivery there's a bowling ball in the back there I kind of just remembered that I ordered some uh, chuchur chuchura chuchur mean fritters uh, at nasi talam so I'm gonna go pick that up at 3 kind of really tight scheduling right there Later. Uh, I'm done with the delivery, but I forgot one more thing. Uh, today, I'm supposed to collect my IC, identification card from immigration. So, I hope it's not too late. I'm gonna go there and see what I can do and just collect my um, IC lah. And I've got Mr. Softy ice cream. Okay, time to go because I gotta go buy something from the shop and go to the restaurant and pick up my order. The next day. Because I need to go grocery shopping. 
uh, supplies are gone. Um, I think I've talked about this. I I bring my own food to you know for lunch at work, and I don't normally go out. We only have an hour lunch, and doesn't really give you much room to go places and get food. Um, even like uh, getting to the car takes like 15 minutes, so it's not really not worth it to go out. So I usually bring my own food, and I usually make myself sandwiches. Uh, but my sandwich supplies is low, so I have I'm low on lettuce, tomatoes, and stuff. The thing about these produce is that you gotta use them within the week because after the week is done, um, all of them are rotten. So um, you, you really need to continuously use all these things. Since I got some left, I'm gonna make myself breakfast, and I'm gonna like really show you real quick what a typical sandwich that I usually make. These are all that's left of what uh, materials I've got to work with. I'm gonna use a fried egg for this morning for breakfast. Other condiments include uh, mayonnaise and mustard. I just finished my sandwich. Uh, I actually spent a good 30 minutes, 40 minutes talking to my dad. It was really good morning conversation on the Sunday morning. I'm going to go to buy some groceries. So like I mentioned, um, a lot of stuff uh, finished. Grocery shopping is one of the things that I always, always do on the weekends. I'm just gonna take you again with me to Wahoo for shopping. Uh, doing my weekly shopping routine.